Hi, this is Michael at Recycle Records in Monterey, California. Today I'm going to show you how to put the needle in the cartridge and the cartridge into the head shell for replacing on your turntable. Okay, what we have here is the head shell with a cartridge and a needle. We're going to first replace the needle. So you grab the cartridge and the needle has a little plastic holder with little grips on the side. Sometimes they're a little challenging to get out, so I'll take a screwdriver and sort of free it just a little bit. And you take it out like that. And you get a new one, and you take the needle, and you slip it right in like this. Now there's a new needle in there. Sometimes we won't be able to find the needle that will fit your particular turntable, so we have to replace the entire cartridge. I will now show you how to put a new cartridge in your head shell. To remove the head shell, you turn this little knob here, and this will free the head shell, and it slides right out. There are four colored leads from the back of the cartridge that must be removed. Using needle nose pliers or tweezers, gently remove these leads. Now we're going to remove the two screws from the head shell that holds the cartridge in. There will be small nuts on the back side. A small screwdriver will come in handy as well as something to put these screws in so they don't get lost. Here's the empty head shell. We're going to put the new cartridge onto it now. Now comes one of the more challenging parts of the installation. They're small screws with tiny nuts. This particular cartridge has a little slot that holds the nuts for you, making it easier. But you must be patient in order to put these in correctly. These are Audio-Technica cartridges that we sell at Recycle Records for about $40. Uh, I'll install it for free if you bring your turntable or your head shell down. When installing these small screws, try not to put too much torque or over-tighten them because they can be damaged. This cartridge has a separate plastic holder that mounts into the head shell that I'm now connecting the leads to. If the cartridge you're installing doesn't have this separate part, you want to be very careful of the needle, maybe even remove the needle during the installation so it doesn't get damaged. Be very careful when installing these leads, they're delicate and easy to break. The back of the package will have a diagram showing you the correct installation order. The last step will be to install the cartridge into the holder. Again, you want to be careful. I should have the needle guard on here, but I don't at this point. There will be a small screw and a nut that will hold the cartridge into the plastic holder and keep it secure. Again, you don't want to over tighten these screws. They're small screws and rather delicate, so just make it firm but not overly tight. Now we're going to put the head shell back on the tone arm and retighten the little gizmo here. And then of course you're going to want to refer to our other video that shows how to rebalance the tone arm. And that's how easy it is to replace the cartridge in your head shell for your turntable. Thank you.